there's no potential to the gospel. No. There's no future to the gospel. Then that also means there's nothing to do with it because it's it's a it's a part of history. That's what's yeah. so important to understand. Mm -hmm. And so what is that history? Well, that history is uh in the past you you were condemned the moment you were born. You were condemned under God as as being a rebel. You, you came out rebelling. <laughs> and mm. the that's the bad news mm -hmm. and that you you should be held accountable for that because your your rebellion is such an offense. And here's the past tense part of it is that uh, God in his love sent his son to to pay for your rebellion so that you would no longer be under that condemnation. This is why the cross is so radically offensive because it's a picture of how radical your rebellion was. That's yeah. why it's so beautiful, right? It's so beautiful because look how much God had to pay for through Christ. And, and that was that was his mercy upon us. So the gospel has mercy, but the, also the gospel has what's called grace. So mercy is to not receive what you deserve. And grace is to receive what you don't deserve. And that's the second part right. of the gospel. And that's Jesus's life. What people don't understand is that uh, Romans 3 says, for all have sinned, we've rebelled against God, and then we fell short of something. Mm -hmm. He says mm -hmm. we fall short of the glory of God. What that means is to be in God's presence, you have to be righteous, and therefore righteousness allows you to enter into his glory. And so I love this, that uh, we are told that the righteousness of Christ is our righteousness at right. new birth, and that righteousness is what gives us the right to mm -hmm. be in the presence of God without fear and without yeah. any kind of requirement. So the two parts of the gospel is that we don't have to pay for our sins because we can't. That's mercy. Mm -hmm. And that all of the works that Jesus did from the moment he was born to the moment he rose from the grave, all of those works were proofs of righteousness, were proofs of mm -hmm. his goodness. And Jesus says they are yours. Uh, it's a really powerful word one that if it's new to you you should you should learn this there's so much great rating on the reformers and lutherans on this it's called union in christ union what that means christ. is that you become one with jesus uh mm. you would hear a word like um, clothed in christ right clothed in yeah. his righteousness mm -hmm. so the good news of the gospel is that everything you could ever need to be with your father is gifted to you by forgiveness of sins and the giving over of Christ's righteousness mm -hmm. forever. And that means when Paul says, if you're going to boast, proudly put on his righteousness and boast in the Lord. Yeah. yeah. So I want to double down on this whole news thing that mm -hmm. Christianity is the only religion in the world based on news, mm -hmm. on something mm -hmm. that has been done, that's accomplished. And we've said this already. We're going to say it again, because I don't think this is something that we intuitively understand well as human beings. But there is nothing whatsoever for us to do when it comes to the gospel. Mm. The yeah. gospel is only about what Jesus Christ has done. And what we, we don't live the gospel. We don't do the gospel. All we're ever told yeah. is to believe it, to receive it, and to preach it. 